I love Christmas carols and at Christmas time singing them. The words are so familiar that they are easy to remember and easy to sing, and they usually have a lot of meaning. But every once in a while, a phrase will jump out of one of the Christmas carols that I hadn't thought about before. This one, while shepherds watch their flocks by night, all seated on the ground, the angel of the Lord came down and glory shone around. Fear not, said he, for mighty dread had seized their troubled minds. Mighty dread had seized their troubled minds. I know they, they saw the glory of the angel, but isn't that phrase, mighty dread, seizing our troubled minds, something that's very familiar in these days? As we look around us and see the unrest and the, the pandemic and just so many hard things, there's a, there's a sense of foreboding that we might feel. Dread about the future, not sure what it will bring. Sometimes I think there's a troubled minds related to the past, things that we've done that we can't change and we wish we could. And at Christmas times, I think sometimes our, our minds are troubled by all of the busy activities. How am I going to get through this day? But God has a solution for our troubled minds. Jesus says, do let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In John 14, he says, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come and take you to be with me. So there's the answer to the troubled minds, trusting in God, both for his first coming and his second coming. Trusting that as we put our faith in him, that all of the past is dealt with and that we have that gift of life through Christ, the abundant life he gives us. But then also believing in his second coming, that he's going to come and someday he's going to make everything right. So yes, the future, as uncertain as it is, will be made right by him. Uh, the, the carol finishes, uh, glad tidings of great joy I bring to you and all mankind. Don't be caught by the troubled minds that are brought into this world by the news around us. Hear the good news that the angels bring, the good news of life in Christ. And don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust in Jesus. In these days, we shouldn't live in dread. We should live in faith and have the joy of Christmas. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you that although there's a lot of troubling things around us, in you there is peace and in you there is joy. Help us to trust in you and help us to experience your joy this Christmas season. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Merry Christmas, God's blessing.